special loss at Clemson the season opener. Coach, uh, just talk to us about the first half and uh, what the team wasn't able to do to us. Well, you know, we started out pretty good the first half, and then all of a sudden we had that deer in the headlight look. And uh, we lost our mo momentum, and Clemson was able to take advantage of that. They scored a lot more baskets in the transition, put us on our heels, and next thing you look up, we scored 15. They scored 36 points, and, and we were behind. You talk about the turnovers, not really against any too much, much full court pressure, but just them trying to execute offense and what those turnovers led to for Clemson. Well, I, whenever you get Clemson, a team like Clemson, those type of points, it's going to be very difficult to win any basketball game. We talked about it in length that we had to stop their transition baskets. We talked about keeping them off the glass, making sure they didn't get any second chance opportunity. And for whatever reason, the first half, we had so many breakdowns. Guys driving to the lane, making layups. Guys getting second shot opportunity. We getting uh, uh, confused a little bit on our switches and guys wide open in the corner. Those are the things we got to correct as a basketball team. And we got to keep our guys with uh, keep our guys fresh and with the understanding that we got to play 40 minutes the entire game. And for, for, for whatever reason, we played 20 good hard minutes. The, the first half, we want to forget. Well, they moved the ball. They played themselves. They finally relaxed. They relaxed, and then they allowed our, their, their defense to create some offensive opportunities. We started playing like we knew we could play the first half. But we got to go back and reevaluate where we are as a basketball team and get the right mixture of guys that come out and play aggressive. We talked about playing aggressive, relaxed, and going out and just playing. And for whatever reason, the second half, they were able to do that. They had a little bit more energy, a lot more enthusiasm, and uh, we were able to win the second half. Well, Raymond and Hunter uh, Miller, they, they are the, the catalyst on the, on, the, on the offensive end as it relates to our guards. Those guys have to produce for us in order for us to be successful. And then you got a guy like uh, Aaron who can put up numbers in a hurry. Glenn Burrell came off the bench, did a terrific job. Uh, Ray Kwan, he, for the, for the most part, handled the pressure very well, got a guard a little bit better. So those, we got some guards who can do some things, but we got to make sure that they understand what we're trying to do and that they do a good job of doing executing. Yeah, well, we, 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 you know, we moved from one ACC team to a, another ACC team, and uh, this team ranked in the top 25. And uh, so we got to be ready again. So whatever little rest we get and whatever we, 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 we take from this basketball game, the second half, we have to apply from the beginning against Notre Dame because they are a team that can score in bunches. And if we don't guard them, they're going to knock down shots. So we got to guard the three-point line. We got to guard them in transition. We got to do a terrific job. And we have to be functioning on all cylinders. If we don't do that, then it's going to be a long night for us. Thank you. Thank you.